I woke up. What if I am still dreaming? Wait, the fire alarms are black. There's no red anymore. All the red got washed out. Red doesn't exist anymore. This isn't my hotel. This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which reflects negatively on the standard orientation protocol. You will rectify this failure immediately. Ah, uh, no. It's a bubbler. Curators only. <laughs> Perception is reality. Your friendly doctor. P.S. will get through this. I swear to God, if this game ends with you are in a coma. You know those copy pastas online that they're like, you've been in a coma for three years. We've been hiding this in a meme to wake you up. Please wake up. Please wake up. Please wake up. And you're like, I'm pretty sure I'm not asleep, but I don't know. My brain is like being suspicious. Oh, yeah, I knew they were gonna pull something. I knew they were gonna pull something. I knew they were gonna pull something! What's back there? What's back there? Is something suspicious? There's a water cooler. That's suspicious. If you guys, let's say, woke up tomorrow and realized that your entire life up till this point was a dream, would you be like, yo, that's trippy? Or would you be like, no, that was real. This is the dream and then kick someone in the face. Oh, Jesus! Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. I'm actually scared. I'm actually scared. I'm actually scared. Excuse me! Excuse, excuse me. I've made a mistake. I've made I've made a mistake and I've ended up in the creepy basement. This is the back rooms. Literal back rooms. Professional tip, the average adult can only withstand 3 to 5 dreams per night. This is once this threshold is eclipsed I can't even tell by this entering is a more dreams, this is real. your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. Cause like, your first reaction isn't to pick it up, it's to pick it up while walking, cause it's small. Like, it's like this game knew that I was gonna do that. Oh, these dice don't look very good. These dice don't look very good. These are some gross ass looking dice. I would love if really defying expectations would be like 30 seconds into this game, it turns into just an FPS shooter and just stop up in the booty boosts. As you can see, to an untrained eye, those look like two pairs of die. But once you approach, you'll notice that it's actually a painting. Whoa. Did that jazz just turn to a minor key K bass? Oh, the jazz is messing with me. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely doing that. Okay, something suspicious going on in here. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, I definitely heard the music tilt too. Am I supposed to? That's not supposed to happen. I feel like an earthbender. It's like that one part from season three, episode 11, where she's like, and then it's like, and then it's like, boom, and then the two come out, and then they slide down it, and then it's like, poosh, and then they slam together, and then they go, kablam, and oh, it's so good. Oh my god. You know what I'm talking about. You know what, you know what I'm talking about. 
Jenga! Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. What the? What? That's not supposed to happen. I get that you're supposed to make a ramp. Hey, I made a ramp. Check the ceiling more often? Why, does creepy stuff start happening on the ceiling? What's gonna happen to this dice? Whoa! Oh, it's just a normal dice. Oh, Jesus! I wanna see people crashing this game. You know, like, what do you have to do in this game to just crash it? Like, how big can you make all of these in one room before the game just dies? You thought! You thought! Yeah, I thought so! God dang it, Snop is already there. He's just gonna become uncomfortably large. Because I keep forgetting to remove him after freaking 20 minutes. He, he's just annoyingly large now. It's like, stop, go away. What's gonna happen to this guy? Okay, that's, uh, that's the complete opposite of what I expected. I'm going in! Whee! I'm gonna wake myself up by dying! This isn't real. Because that's not what the movie's called. That's not what the movie's called. SpongeBob third movie. The third movie is called, uh, uh, what is it called? What is the third movie called? Is it Sponge on the Run? Is this real or is this fake? Is this real or is this fake? Is Gary gone? I can't even tell if this is real. Hashtag save Gary. Hashtag save Gary. I thought the whole point of the third Spongebob movie was that it was Spongebob as a kid. And that that was leading into the new show about Spongebob being a kid. It's not a Gary's Gone movie. It's a Spongebob as a kid movie. That's what they said it was. It is fake. Okay, god dang it. Dream layers of the mind. You are here. Emotions highly affect dreams. Testers, Jonas Dawson, Arthur Willis... Berry dragon, pencil, phone, light bulb, banana. People only dream of ordinary objects. Boring. Yeah, I was about to say, this guy's dream sucks. Where are all the big, cool, sexy dragon chicks? He just keeps dreaming of dice. Feeling lucky? Come to the casino. Oh, they're advertising to me through my dreams. It's just Gary Comes Home Premium Edition. Yeah, Wonderful Sponge is what the movie's actually called. I literally went over a thing called Sponge on the Run Fake. You know how gullible I am. You guys could tell me Spongebob is cancelled and I'd be like, oh, that's a shame. Gary, I know I was wrong. I messed up and now you're gone. Wah, 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 wah. Gary, I'm sorry I neglected you. Oh, I never respected you. Wait, hold on. All the colors are starting to disappear. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and despite touring Spongebob's the Waterfall canceled? Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of Stop, worthlessness move. and self-doubt. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? Do you still feel like you're a failure, even though you made it this far into the game? Spoiler alert, everybody else got further than you, faster than you. You're actually taking a really long time to beat this. You must be really, really dumb. I'm like, okay, thanks, I guess. It's official, they changed the title? Wait, is this real? I can't even tell if this is real. Wait, what? 
On November 12th, 2019, it was revealed the title was changed from It's a Wonderful Sponge to Sponge on the Run. Yo, wait, that's actually real. I thought you were trolling. They actually changed the title, and that's a real poster. So the movie was supposed to be It's a Wonderful Sponge. The next day, Snoop Dogg announced that he will be in the film. Hey, we've come full circle. Poetic symbolism. We went from snot being large to snot being large and in charge in the new SpongeBob. In before Snoop Dogg plays an actual dog. The thing about dreams is that they can turn into nightmares. Road closed. That sign can't stop me because I can't read. This is getting kind of spooky and I don't like it. it. They're doing the dead space flickering lights thing. Take a shot, flickering lights. If somebody tuned in right now, they'd be like, Hey, Teal, you doing horror games? I didn't know you were doing horror games. Did I just teleport? It did just teleport when the light went out. That's weird. Uh, Kojima just tweeted about it. He tweeted that he's taking a photo of cake. For some reason, he's taking a photo of cake with 90 cameras. Why is Kojima taking a picture of a cake with 90 cameras? Did he put it in the game? Is it that hard to have your 3D artist put a cake in your video game that you have to photo with 90 cameras? Oh, that's actual human blood. That's that's actual human blood. This, that's blood. We have blood now. They're actual human blood. Unless they're gonna do like a ketchup reveal. Guys, have you heard of the super liminal creepy pasta? The game is normal up until the point where you find realistic human blood. <laughs> So it's gonna be one of those games. It's gonna, okay, yeah, okay. It's gonna be one of, be one of those games. It's gonna, it's gonna be one of those games. It's gonna be one of those games. Can't believe I got jump scared by a freaking puzzle game. Jesus. How do I get? What the hell is this? There's actually. What the hell is this? There's two doors. You shut up. <laughs> What's on the itinerary? Monday murder, Wednesday murder, Thursday murder, Saturday murder, Sunday beans. <laughs> Not beans. Come on down to our building, but only on Sundays we got beans. Every other day is murder. How did I get scared? Don't judge me. Don't judge me. You know how jumpy I am. Murder and beans, murder and beans. All we got here is murder and beans. I can't believe this game went from bloody handprint murder to beans. Die, 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 die. Let me guess, it's diet, yeah. That's a Simpsons joke, damn it! That's a Simpsons joke! It's, it's literally a Simpsons joke! Oh <laughs> Emergency. <sighs> this is like actual horror now. Yeah, this is... 
Most games would take like four hours to ramp up to this. This game's like, what if blood? That's a lot of blood. That, that, that's a lot of blood. The secret though is that since I saw that, I can just go around it. I can just go around it. Well, that's how you want it. <gasps> Wait. Wait, that actually worked? That actually worked? The game wanted me to jump in, so it put a platform right where your jump would land. That's... I... This game's starting to get a little too trippy now. Because it's just predicting my moves. I think we're no longer in a dream. We can't mess with things anymore. That's actually a good point. Oh, look at that! That's so cool! That's so cool! That's so cool! Look at this. Your first instinct is to just walk because it's dark. You just walk because it's dark. And then you're like, I don't think I'm moving. So you turn around and then you, oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, this is neat. This is neat. This is some cool shadow stuff. But have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. She's like, please stop dreaming. Please stop dreaming. Yeah, that would be a good twist if I'm not dreaming anymore and they want me to think I'm dreaming. Oh, no, maybe I am in a dream, snake eater. Huh. can't even look clearly you're not supposed to go that way you're supposed to backtrack I am honestly perplexed completely and utterly dumbfounded on what it is that I am supposed to do Moving the way hey there's a secret path <laughs> I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. I actually knew that. You might not think that I knew that, but I knew that. Look at all these Death Stranding boxes. Alright, we got another one of these confusing ass puzzles. Ah, there's a thing up there, but how do I get to it? Maybe I go this way. I'm very concerned why I can only interact with the exits. Oh no. Did what do you, you got know there? That unintentional multi dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients. This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard the orientation 1%. protocol. The 1% is what I call my wiener. I'm concerned about why my character doesn't have a shadow, which makes me wonder if you have shadows in dreams. Ikea! Idea! Even the creepy part's not creepy anymore. Wait, was I in an Ikea this whole time? I was! This is literally the Ikea SCP. I was just in an Ikea the whole time. And this was red paint. This was red paint for the walls. God dang it. It wasn't even blood, it was... We're in an Ikea, damn it! <laughs> Which, granted, they're right. Ikeas are freaking terrifying. They even got the Swedish meatballs. They even got the damn Swedish meatballs. I'm gonna lose it. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. 
Come on down to Ikea. Don't be scared of the blood. I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do. Well, I am dumbfounded. Maybe there's something back here. The door, of course. Okay, well, nobody told me this is the best damn game ever made. You can make little dominoes. How many doors before the game crashes? <laughs> Look at this! What is happening? I'm gonna soft lock myself on domino doors. It's like I should move on, but like there's something oddly, oddly relaxing about this. I can't put into words how relaxing this is. This is like those, uh, computer generated like physics things where like it loads in a bunch of objects at once and drops them except it's in real time I just want to sit here forever I just want to sit here forever and make doors now we have a problem I bet this was a bug that the dev found while programming and they're like I'm gonna turn it into a feature there's a window up there Look at this, it's just more doors. Oh! I can use them like stairs! Ooh! Attention, Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Whoa. Oh. Significant memory loss, yeah. both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways and other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Uh, how deep it could go. Oh, okay, you can only move it once! So you have to make stairs. I get it, so it's like you can't just infinitely do it. Cause see, cause now that's not gonna stay. Huh. How low can we go? Aha! Bop, 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 bop. This game feels like a really cool tech demo. My mouse cursor just turned to a smiley face. Did you see this? My, my mouse cursor turned to a smiley face for like half a second. And then it switched back. I don't know if anyone else saw that or if I imagined it, but my mouse cursor was a little happy face. And it was super cute. Apple. How? Oh! How? Oh! Ow! Apple! Do I have to knock the apple over? You did see it? Okay. Okay, this room is big. I want to crash this game so bad. 
I wanna, I wanna crash this game so bad. Apple. What is the symbolism? The symbolism is eat more apples. Eat apples. Apples are good. Eat apples. I don't know if you were here when I theorized, but I theorized that this game is companies learning how to advertise products in your dreams. Because we went through an Ikea, we've gotten advertisements for Domino's, we've gotten advertisements for casinos, we've gotten advertisements for avocados. I feel like, you know, a company has figured out how to advertise through dreams. And this is the level where they're trying to make me hungry? Excuse me? <laughs> this game's gonna freaking destroy itself. Shooting myself with apples. We saw the universe. Yeah, we went up over the wall. That was weird. Oh my god, there is a puzzle. There actually is a puzzle here. I think you found a speedrunning strat. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta submit that, Jans. Okay, so there's a button somewhere. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Apples, you're so close. Come on, you're so close. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him rolling down there! I love this! This is so stupid, but I love this! Like, the game is worth it just for this room. I just want to play with apples in this room. Soma Sculpt... Did she- did she fix the spelling errors by just crossing it out with a marker? All right, guys, I have an idea, and it's going to probably backfire, but here we go. <laughs> Sleep clinic gallery. I mean, that worked. I mean, I've softlocked myself. I can't get through the door. How, how, do, I, how do I get through the door? I, I may have made a mistake. How do I get through the door? How do I, how do I get through that door? Ah, they're smart. Right click. I love how for people who are smart like you, they have the right click button. For people who are stupid like me, they put a hole in the ceiling. It's genius. It's genius. Because whether you're smart or stupid, they have a solution. That's why I like this game, because in other games, in other games, you would have to only do the smart solution. But this game has a dumb solution too, which is why I like it, because I fall into the dumb category. Attention, Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. <laughs> I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. Somebody's gonna get fired for this blunder. I'm getting way more of these than I deserve. If you guys walked up to a vending machine and it just looked like this, like there was just 40 cans coming out of it, I would scoop them up and run. Hey. Take all of it, yeah. 2019. Hello, name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the Somnusculpt Welcome Experience, team of your care leader, patient years 10 development. Conditions struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. Edge science with cutting, a tomorrow can bright. And buts, no ifs, or look good. I'm tripping. I'm naked. 
What if I forget to set the alarm? Beep, 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 beep. Emergency exit protocol. Guys, buy apples. I told you. I told you. Buy apples. That wasn't even a joke. There's an advertisement for apples. This game is subliminal advertising. It's not subliminal advertising. It's super liminal advertising. Join the Navy. Join, join the Navy. Dad's on TV. Why do you need subliminal messages? Uh, it's a three-pronged attack. Subliminal, liminal, and superliminal. Superliminal? I'll show you. <laughs> hey, you! Join the Navy! Uh, yeah, all right. I'm in. <laughs> now that you know, Lisa, 